Good morning. Welcome back to the theater. <laughs> oh no, my battery's gonna die. Uh, we are doing great this morning. I couldn't get to sleep last night. I think it was partially heat, partially my allergy attack that decided to rear its lovely head at three in the morning and partially just the stress of, oh my God, it's the 14th today and I leave on the 25th at the latest. So yeah, lots of thoughts flying through my brain last night, lots of not really sleeping. I got less than four hours of sleep, love that. I think the plan today, if I do not hear back from Miss Sharon, cause she's in town, if I don't hear back from her, I'm gonna slowly work, putter my way through and um, catch a bus and go home and sleep after work because I think it's one of those days. And again, like I said yesterday or in the last vlog, if like I'm so stressed, I have so much stuff to do, but it's important to make time for things like socializing if that happens or napping if that needs to happen. So that's where we're at. Maybe have my breakfast drink. Hopefully it does something to wake up my everything. Plus my throat is hurting so much from all the talking I've had to do with training lately, so. Okay, I can tell you that I basically don't remember the first hour of my shift. I was just so tired. Oh right, battery's dying. Um, but the last hour and 20 minutes-ish has been very good and very productive. Um, feeling pretty great, should easily be done. As I was saying before my battery died, I should easily be done by noon. Still waiting to see if Miss Sharon will get back to me. She's got her vaccine at like 120 or 125, I believe, her second shot. So who knows how she'll feel? I certainly don't. I know the first one really took it out of her, so maybe the second one will be completely fine. Anyways, regardless, I still, uh, I don't, I wanna say I still think I'm gonna go have a nap when I get home, but I don't know, like maybe I'll be okay. Maybe I've rallied, maybe we're fine. Uh, we will find out after, after, after. There's no other way. I got this nice, always my headphones gives me this weird fluff and my face is so broken out. Stress levels are high in general, <laughs> but you know, when I was putting together my playlist for Blind Channel last night, I was just like, go, go to my channel and check out my playlist if you want to see any. I was just like thinking about how much I miss it, how much I love it, especially when I was there in the fall because there's just nobody there. But <sighs> anyways, I'm going to go have my break. This will be the first break I have had in a very long time with like nobody here or no pressure to get things done quickly because I've been training a lot and then also the, just the pressure to get things done before people show up. So anyways, I'm excited about that. I'm going to go make my Easy Mac. That is nicely blown out. I need to fix that because I got like the weird whoop on the one side, but it is what it is. All right, and with that, I have cut everything that I've printed. So I have the reusable cotton pad tags and then the wristlet tags. Very exciting. The paper guillotine was definitely my friend. I was just gonna cut them in strips and then cut them into the smaller ones at home because like scissors will be so fast, but honestly, so fast doing it that way. So I'm pretty sure somewhere in here are Ziploc bags. So I'm going to steal a Ziploc bag if I can find it. Well, it was just the stash. Um, I reached out to Miss Sharon, like I actually emailed her and I didn't hear anything back. So I think what I might do, I think my mom's off at like 1.30. So I think what I might do, oh, my hand is totally in the way. <laughs> I think what I might do is um, go get lunch and then just go meet up with her because I've got my keys for the car, so I can just get into the car. But yeah, see if I can find a Ziploc bag. There used to be some. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> and then um, start packing up. I gotta charge my phone too, because it's down to like 20%. I am super melting. I'm home though, fresh battery, fresh set of clothes, um, because I'm wearing my dress mainly because <laughs> I have this fan, and I was just like, Wait for it, yes. Yes, that feels really nice because it's so hot. I was also in sweatpants, so <laughs> that's part of the reason that I'm just so warm. Anyways, I'm also suddenly snuffly. You know, I was having an allergy attack last night. So it is 3.30, we did some shopping. Um, well, like my mom had to grocery shop and so I got a couple things for Blind Channel because you know, the panic is setting in. I also picked up this tote for my store stuff. I think it's too big, it's 53 liters. And like the totes that I use to bring out my stuff are 70 liters, but the one smaller than that was 
40 or 38 liters and I was like I don't know if this is big enough because I have a lot of scrunchies I have like over 300 scrunchies plus everything else so I was like you know what we'll just we'll get the bigger one and if there's extra room in it so be it I can pack it with other stuff but yeah now that I'm really seeing that I'm really thinking it's too big <laughs> I mean worst case scenario if it is absolutely obscenely too large then I will go back and get the other one I also got this um, like metal Tupperware container for as I like to call it, my solid body wash, aka soap, because <laughs> I switched to soap when I ran out of body wash. It's been something that I, I, I've mentioned it before, it's something that I've been thinking about for a long time. Like, oh, if only they made solid body wash, and then every time I go, it's soap, you don't. Um, and so I finally ran out, and I had soap that I bought in Blind Channel last summer, so we're good. It's a, it's a goat milk soap, and the pH is supposed to be really good for your skin. And, um, it's like a minty flavor and oh, I'm, I mean, I'm sure if you went back to my vlogs, either from last summer or the summer before, you could find at least one instance of me going, mm, this smells so good, I wanna lick it. <laughs> I have yet to lick it, so we'll see if that continues, but <sighs> plan now. I think I'm gonna whip off this vlog. I like rough cut it yesterday as in got rid of all the like lengthy spots. I've rendered it, so it's all good to go. Actually, I see a little spot that decided to unrender itself, so we will quickly render that. It should take like two seconds. And then I think I'm gonna send my boss an email to be like, just wanna confirm, outdate. Also, if my friend, like my friend usually leaves Blind Channel on Sunday or Monday. He is still there, and last I talked to him, he said he didn't think he was leaving today, so. Normally he goes back in on, uh, I think, Monday. So I'm going to try to be like, can I just come in a couple days early? I'll just come with my friend. That way you don't have to worry about picking me up. I'm like, even if you don't want me to start work when I come out there, that's fine. Like, I can find something to do for a day or two, which I definitely can. There's footage that I want to get out there. And because I always work during the day, it's really difficult to do those things. But I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to edit this vlog. Then I'm going to cut the Galaxy fabric for scrunchies. I bought paper, so that's exciting. I bought the tote, so that's exciting. Those are two things I can cross off my list. And then I also need to fix the labels and print the labels or finish printing them tomorrow, either or, because um, I'm going to bring the labels to work on Wednesday and cut them after work again, like I did today. So still lots to do. I'm just, I'm trying to top like heavy load the beginning of the week because I am off this weekend I've put nothing on there so like anything that slips through the cracks I can pick up along the way and then I think tomorrow hopefully getting my totes um, from storage and that will begin the start of packing and like the first stage of packing is me just going through and pulling out everything I think I want to bring and tossing it in the tote <laughs> and then starting to condense after but I need to shut up because I got, I got stuff to do. Okay, so I tied up all the cotton pads and I did some different colors, but honestly, I just, I really like the pink and I think maybe I should go for a more cohesive look and just do pink on it. I mean, that looks really good, but I don't know. So I'm going to leave it for now. They're all at least tied, step one. It's almost dinner, so I'm going to go have dinner now, I think, and then I'll come back after dinner and reevaluate because like this just, it looks so good on every pattern, like. <laughs> so we'll see I don't think I would have well I don't know there's probably a lot I would have to redo let's see da -da -da. that many so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19, 20 that I would have to redo so I'm gonna think about it before I jump the gun on that and um, but once I do have them done and I'm happy with them I'm gonna throw them in Ziploc bags I think 
and in the bottom of the bin there. And then I'll do the same with this stuff. This will go in Ziploc bags and these and the lanyards which are still up here and then scrunchies will just fly on top of them. So that is the plan but I am starving so food is the plan. Everything is a mess in my room like we're stepping over things. It's it's coming along though. I've got all the cotton pads in here. That's probably next. <laughs> I did decide to change it to all pink, so that's all the extra ribbon. I just think the cohesiveness makes more sense. But in exciting news, so I sent off the email to my boss man and he just emailed me back and he said I can go in with my friend, which I'm so excited about. He's getting his vaccine shot on the 16th, so they're not sure when he's going back in, but it should be before the 25th, which was my end date. As long as it's after the 21st and before the 25th, I'm a happy girl. So it just adds extra stress and pressure, <laughs> but it's fine because I've got a game plan. The agenda is filled out. I'm working quite well on things today. Um, if I can get the scrunchies cut tonight, I think I'd be in really good shape. Like get this all packed up because this was not on the list. Ugh. Get this all packed up, get scrunchies cut get labels fixed and print it. If I can't print it today, if I can finish printing it tomorrow, also fine. So yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, but we, like I said, we're gonna just keep on packing. Now that I'm seeing this, I, I think it's okay for size. I think it's still gonna be a little big, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so I found some footage on a vlog that I already exported um, for the vlog. Wow, let's try that again. So I exported a vlog and then I found footage on a camera for that vlog. So I just finished re-exporting that after I edited it in. I spent some time editing the labels so that I could print them like I printed the ones yesterday and they did not print properly. It's, it's not even back to the same issue it was before. It is a much worse issue. Like, I don't know if it's ink, even though it says it's still got like a third full of the ink, so I don't know what it is. I have to get more ink. Can I say ink anymore? Ink, 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 ink. But also I'm just going to redo the labels again from scratch this time. Even though last time I just took, because the logo was the only thing that was the issue, I just took the logo and I put it on the ones that were fine and it printed fine, but now I don't know. Anyways, that's where we're at there. And good news once I edit the vlog from the weekend, I'm completely caught up to vlogs other than doing the thumbnails. So there's that. Um, and other news, there's this disaster here. So that's the tote with my store stuff in it, except unfortunately that pink tote there, I want to get those scrunchies in there too. So I think I need to edit, shrink that down a bit, or maybe, or maybe I'll have room to put them in my um, <sighs> stuff when I pack it tomorrow. I think we're going to storage to get my bags. So we shall see, but yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a disaster. I, I almost died trying to get to the other side of my room earlier, so <sighs> I'm going to deal with that. But first, I think I'm going to transfer the footage from the weekend, so at least I have it on my computer, so I don't really have any excuses. And then I'm going to watch something and stress eat some chips because I'm just so frustrated <laughs> about these tags right now. It's, I, I, anyways, that's where we're at. And um, there's still lots of work to do, but we're still, no, we're going to be behind on schedule now after tonight because I didn't cut the fabric for the scrunchies and I couldn't print the labels. So tomorrow we are officially behind. I got really involved in panic packing last night and uh, before I knew it, it was 1.30 in the morning and so I just went to sleep. Um, good morning. It is the next day. It's, um, it's still 11 o'clock now. I slept until like 10.30. <laughs> Clearly necessary with my messed up sleep schedule, but I guess like I'll, I'll show you what the room looks like at the moment. It's a mess. So <laughs> that's dirty clothes and a tray there. These are all the trays that I had had. Um, da, 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 da. Cotton pads and whatnot and lanyards and stuff in. This is for Bubs. I have to drop it off for her at some point. This is the desk. Uh, this is another order for somebody. Um, oh, I actually transferred a lot of stuff off my hard or off my laptop onto my hard drive. So this now, instead of having like 70 gigs of space, has like 230 gigs of space. So that's good because that was something I needed to do. And then um, garbage. 
<laughs> and this is a bin that I've started to throw things in that I know I'll need. That's kind of usually how the packing works. I'm like, is that gonna be too bright? That's kind of bright. I just kind of throw everything into piles and into bins and stuff. And then as I'm packing, I go through and I go, okay, well, I don't really need that. Or yes, I definitely want that. So that's where we're at. Um, I also found my grad ring from university, which was very exciting because I've been looking for it for ages. I just, I happened to be in my tech bin and it was in a Ziploc bag in there. So that was really weird. But yeah, we're, we're making progress. I have to fix the labels again. I want to pack this up and then I have the wristlets that I have to send to Jessica as well. And then because I didn't get the scrunchies cut or sewn yesterday, I need to do that. However, one thing I did get done yesterday was caught up on vlogs, save thumbnails. So this is the only vlog that I have to edit is this one that I'm currently still recording. So that is very exciting. But yeah, plan for today, finish scrunchies. And by finish scrunchies, I mean start scrunchies. Get totes from storage because that'll be the next step towards packing is I can start throwing stuff in there. Um, all sewing stuff away. Again, have to finish the um, actual sewing before I can do that. Finish printing labels, but first I have to fix them and then pack up all the stuff. So it's not like too, too crazy. It's just a matter of getting going. But first I think I'm gonna go have some lunch because I'm hungry and then we'll kind of see, 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 see what happens. Okay, so I had lunch and I think step one has to be to clean because if I clean my room so I can like move about, have my bed made so I can lay stuff out on it and like have my desk actually be accessible, that would be a great thing. <laughs> So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually write a list, comprehensive, and start doing those things because, uh, also it's raining, which is nice because it is quite warm. It's only 25 degrees in my room right now, but it was like 27 when I was going to sleep last night, so. Okay, so it is official. I am done sewing scrunchies. Look at them. They're so adorable. I love these so much. Um, so I'm done. So the sewing machine is now going to go away. And um, as you can see, we're, we're, we're still a bit of a situation, but it is getting better. I'm going to put the scrunchies that I'm not bringing back up in the bins, so that will mostly clear up the floor. So I'm making strides. I'm still a little stressed, but it's better. Also, I added a fun little label to my sewing machine. If you remember when my other sewing machine broke, it was like such a disaster with their customer service. And they're like, yeah, we'll process the uh, warranty on your printer. And I was like, it's a sewing machine. And so I put a label on there, which I thought was funny. But yeah, I'm gonna pack this up. I have to wash my breakfast drink jars because it's time. And then I think I'm going to get some vacuum bags and try to use them for the scrunchies because right now that tub is uns it ridiculously full. Alrighty, so it is the end of the night and um, I wouldn't say I'm exactly where I want to be. The label thing is kind of the thing that's, um, causing issues <laughs> but other than that like sewing stuff is all done all my stuff that I'm bringing out to sell is packed up save the labels I think I mentioned that earlier room is mostly clean <laughs> starting to collect clothes I went and got the totes from storage so that's exciting so tomorrow I will probably wrangle them up here and try to find a place to put them and start just kind of throwing things into them and um and caught up on vlogs like <laughs> everything is edited thumbnailed and upload it so that is like a freaking miracle because <sighs> it's I've been so behind for so long so that is amazing and um, I'm gonna go to bed here soon I think uh, I got an email today about a show on Friday at the theater which I think is a new show because I don't think it's on my schedule which means I have to work Saturday just stressful because I'm supposed to be getting a haircut on Saturday but I think my mom works anyways and we're gonna go together so but the next step will be this is my food shopping list and then this is my non food shopping list not as long uh, but yeah slowly getting things done <laughs> tomorrow's Wednesday like the, the worst part is is I don't know if I'm for sure going in on Monday or if I'm going in after that, or you know what, so <sighs> added level of stress. But the plan is to uh, fix and print the labels tomorrow, 
or print them on Thursday at the latest because now I'll have to choppy chop them on Friday. I also want to film a couple videos or at least one before I go. I want to record a voiceover before I go. I think I might bring my mic with me though. We'll, we shall see. And um, I need to get a screen recording of something. I need to find footage. And so like, I have so much that I want to do before I go and so much that I have to do. So we're just going to keep trucking every, every minute that we can, I suppose. But um, yeah, not crazy stressed, but a little stressed. But with that, I'm going to go and uh, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.